Yo, hello, what's good, lovely people out there? This is your boy Minati for real. Anytime you see me, it's all about promoting Ghana to Ghanaians and to the world through travel and tourism. The location for today is Boti Waterfalls. What makes this waterfall unique is that it comes with a lot of side attractions, which I'll be showing you in the video. So stay tuned and keep watching. We are about to visit the Milan and the female Sexogan Rock the prayer rock african map rock the giant foot rock then we descend straight 100.5 meters down straight to a river we call river esiafro which was named after the descending and then the ascending from there we go to the tree on the rock from the tree on the rock we go straight to the ancient cave from the ancient cave we go to the 200.10 meters up we will ascend from there to the umbrella rock, from the umbrella rock straight to the three headed palm tree. So we have a long way to go. Good luck. Yeah, so as you can see, uh, I'm told it's going to take about 45 minutes for the hiking process to be over. So you see, right behind me, I have a beautiful lady from. Say, say hi, say, say hi. <laughs> You see, so you, you guys in Ghana, you are, you, are, you are making foreigners to come and enjoy your country. You two try and then plan and also come and check this place out. What was it? Oh, lizard, yeah, I'm not scared. I thought it was a, a snake. I would have run and left you people. <laughs> uh, you mean... Uh, Sometimes you can find snake on this tree. Hey, I'll run and leave you people. <laughs> I, we already seen some snakes. So. You saw snakes? Yeah, That's where? On the roads. Seriously? Yeah. Somebody killed them. Wow. With a, with a walk. <laughs> Why did you see? Hey. Maybe <laughs> Ghana <laughs> Jaumu. So guys, when you are coming, make sure um, you wear your sneakers, a suitable footwear, not like the lady in front of me. Have you seen what she's wearing? Eh? Don't, don't wear that. <laughs> so this is our first rock, the male, and then the female sex organ rock. Do you see it? <laughs> ah, look. <laughs> this is the male. And That's the male. Sex on the rock here. Female and the male. Interesting. So, this is the prayer rock. Do you see it all? You need more explanation. Prayer rock is the hands are like this. And the lines in it shows the fingers. Okay. Really cool. The prayer rock. Oh, okay. The lines in this show the fingers. So, so far, we've like seen. This. We've seen the male and female sex organ rock and then the prayer rock. All right, let's go. Uh -huh. This. Yes. Uh, is that what is this? Yes. It's, it's, it looks like like the shape of an African woman. African map rock. Ah, uh, African map rock. Ah, okay. This. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. African map rock. This is Madagascar. This Moa. And this is Ghana. Ghana is here. Ah, West. Yeah. No, so, the African map rock. Oh, okay. okay. All right. This is our next rock, the giant foot rock. This holes represent the toes and then the feet. Do you get it? Yes, I get it. It's... Yes. You see, yeah. you see, in the olden days, there were giants everywhere. Mm -hmm. We never had, this is Africa, this is Asia, this is what, what, what. They were everywhere. And the interesting thing is giants had problem with their eye when they are in the sun. Oh, okay. So it is like being in the sun. So anywhere they step, the sun just prints their footprints anyhow. So I'm sure if we search further, we're gonna find another footprint. Interesting. The giants. So this is a little story. So that's the, the giant footprint, the toes and in their feet. You see? Yeah. Oh, okay. The leg is very, very small. 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 <laughs> All right. So, can we go on? Yes. Okay. yes. 
Hey, you, you didn't wave. Oh. Um, I want both of you to wave. Wave at my people. Uh -huh. Okay, nice. Wow, oh, check out the landscape. Let's go. Okay, so uh -huh. okay, so, so we are about to descend 100.5 meters down. So it's ahead of us. So everybody should take care so that he or she will not fall. Yes, I can hear um, the sound of a water body. What's that? The river. What's the name of the river? We call it River Esiafu. River Esiafu. Yes. Oh, okay. Right. So you said here is very, um, it's how many meters again? 100.5 meters down. I'm almost at the river. Can't wait to show you guys. Oh. As I said earlier on, this is the river I see after I was talking about, which was named after the descending and then the ascending. Okay, so you can take pictures. There we go. Ah, the, the mosquitoes. Oh. Uh, so if you are coming, make sure you bring your repellent. So we are back on the hiking trail. Mm -hmm. Well, so I'm going to show you guys the tree on the rock. So, this is the ancient cave. This cave has been here for long. But you see, the interesting thing is, the holes in it, the big, big ones, the big, big ones. Yeah. When our, our forefathers lived here, the big, big holes were used to, to, to store their mats, which they sleep on. The mat was weaved by a farm front, like this. Farm front. That's where they keep their mats on. And then there's small, small holes. Also, it was used to store their jewelries, gold, ornament, and then the rest. But this specific hole, this hole, is, is, is a means of communication to them. Let me say, in, in high school and other schools, we call it the siren. Okay. So, if they are moving, they sound it. If they are about to sleep, they sound it. They are about to eat, they sound it. They sound it for people who are very far to come close. So this is how it looks like. That's how it sounds. So you can try if you want to. You can try if you want to. Well, let me let me let me try. Uh, but you said they, they keep jewelry here. Not here. There are small small holes. Let me see if I'll, I'll find some gold. Me, I like money. Yeah. Uh, Unfortunately, all there. Nothing. There's it's no gone. jewelry. <laughs> all right. So there's a little story about the a little story about the Asian scale. Please, if you have questions, ask me. Let me answer you. Any question?
Now, then we are about to ascend the 200.10 meters up straight to uh, where the umbrella rock is. Okay. Okay. Ladies first. Who is tired? Uh, aren't you tired? No. Oh, it's okay. Who is tired? Uh -huh, she said we are all tired. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lie. He's tired. Look. Oh. You see the way he's, he's breathing? <laughs> Let's go. He's tired. Really, really tired. Hey, my boy, how are you? Okay. Nice. I'm also good. He's tired. Okay. Really, really tired. Hey, Charlie, the girls then get cap her off. See, they're not even sweating. Hey, Charlie. <laughs> So this is the umbrella rock. This rock was discovered by a hunter called Kofi Yesu. And it's 100 years and more. Because the 100 years is for the discovery. So imagine the time it wasn't discovered. So it's 100 years and more. A legend says this rock is going to come down. But I'm not sure. I'm not sure because it has been here for long. You see the woman selling over there? She, she told me the rock was here before she was born. And now she's almost getting to her 40s. And it's still there. So they're saying it's, it's going to come down. I'm not sure. But this rock is a sedimentary rock. Oh, okay. Sedimentary rock. At the top, at first people used to go there. But the ladder is being broken. So... No one goes there. And we don't want to risk anyone's life. So you just be here. And then 20 to 15 people can be can be under it when it's raining. So hmm. Charlie, this thing eh? Charlie, if you know, you know. Mm. Come and give me another one. Mm. Mm. Chema will spoil your money all for extra for you. It's not easy. I do it. And then, mommy, back to how on now. This one, and then you cut the onion, and then you push it inside. So, why do it's like salt on the outside? Preserve. It's. Oh, so it's holding longer. Yeah. How much do you? Four cities. Four cities. Both of them. Mm. Sorry, bro. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. So we are done with viewing the umbrella rock. And from here, we'll be going to the three headed palm tree. If Belakwa, have you seen the way I'm doing advert for you? I, I need a sponsorship deal. You see the interesting thing? There are villages around here. Oh, okay. You've not seen it. Look. What are the there. villages? There. Ah, okay. You see? Wow, very isolated. And they have power lines over there, imagine. Yeah, I'm even surprised, Charlie. The network is strong here. MTN. Yes, 4G. <laughs> hey, MTN, you see the way I'm also doing adverts for you guys. <laughs> Charlie. Wow. Left or right? That's, so that's the village. Eh? Yes, that's the village. And there is a palm tree. Do you see it? Yeah. So, this is the three-headed palm tree. Legend says this palm tree has been here for 100 years. And in fact, it has been here for long. And then, you see, this palm tree takes turns in bearing fruits. It takes turns in bearing fruits. This bearing fruits the first year, the middle, the second, then the third one, the last year. It rotates. And then it says, if this palm tree is not destroyed by man, it can be here for 200 years more. And then the fruits, I learned it, it cannot be used for soup. In Ghana, we have palm nut soup we eat. I learned it cannot be used for soup. You said it cannot be used for soup? No. Oh, okay. And in fact, they, they don't harvest it. And then the, the little story behind it is I learned they were making a little sacrifices to it. And it began to die. Oh, okay. Meaning it needs no sacrifice. It needs no sacrifice. All right. It's it, it came by nature. Okay. Then this, these are the fertility stones. These two stones. So if you are seriously in need of a child or babies, this is the fertility stone. You put some offering on it. You sit, you make your wish in your head. Not even for fertility per se, but if you need something seriously in life, a little offering, you sit, you make your wish in your head. It's like going to the church, telling God, God, I need this, I need that. Then you give an offering. Place it on it, on it. Then you sit on it, make your wish. German is making his wish. He wants 25 babies. Hey! Hey! I didn't say. Yeah, so you see the white building ahead of us? That white building. This building was built by our first president, Kwame Nkrumah. When he discovered there is a place which is good and then a tourist site. If you, when it feels like coming here, just come and then come and rest over here. You spend some days and then go back. So it's very, very, very long and then it's old. Okay, so this is 250 stairs leading straight to where the water forces. So there is more excitement to there. So let's go. For me, I think this tree is the oldest tree over here because it's very, very big. The most biggest, in fact, the biggest tree I've, I've seen.
Okay, so at long last we arrived at the twin waterfalls. In fact, they are twins. You see, they are twins. The bigger one is the male, and then the small one is the female, which represents upper and then lower. In Africa, the males are the head in the family. So you know we we, we, we have a big role to play. So this waterfall was discovered by a hunter called Nenetete. Nenetete. He discovered it the, in the year 1906. And then it was rediscovered in 1950. After the discovery, he brought white priests to discover this place and then to show them how the waterfall is. So the white priest was like, where is the water coming from? Because we didn't understand their language, they didn't under, understand ours. We were like, it was like minimal, I don't know, in English. So, he felt, someone further on explained to him that he is talking of where the water is coming from. And he was like, Insuoni, if you want it, you get the name. Insuoni, if you want it, meaning it. The water is from the it's coming, yes, it's coming from the rock. Ah, okay. So that's how we got the name Boti Falls. So, so the white priest was like, oh, so this is Boti Falls. Boti Falls. Then we got the name Boti Falls. But the interesting thing is, you see these two waterfalls. When it rains heavily, let's say we're in a severe rainy season, they mix. They mix together. You understand? But we don't know if they give babies or not, but they mix. After the meeting, it will separate in the dry season. But when it gets in the, uh, in the dry season, the female dries up totally, and then the male drops a little. Which simply means, in the family, uh, is the male who feeds the, the, the family. You understand? But when you are in the rainy season, it rains. When we are in the severe rainy season, you see the roofing steps over there? Yes, in the course of this waterfall. And the thing is, it takes the source from Ahenkwa, Ahenkwa, and passes through 45 villages before getting here. From here, it goes straight to Aka Falls ahead of us. I hope you'll be there so you know where I'm talking of. Aka Falls. So from Aka Falls to the Akosombo Dam, from the dam straight to the Kocha Lake. So this is a little story behind the green waterfalls. Thank you. Yo, so guys, all too soon, we've come to the end of another episode. Whenever you see Minati for you, just remember, it's all about promoting Ghana to Ghanaians and to the world through travel and tourism. So I entreat everybody out there to make it a point to visit the Boti Waterfall. And don't forget to like and follow my page, Minati for you. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. I'll be more than glad to assist you guys. I love you all. Stay safe. I'll see you when I see you. I'm out.